Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, me and Matt went our excellent adventure last night. We uh, went to the strange and faraway land of Dixon, Tennessee. And, uh, got all the way up there to look at probably buying this Chevy truck because I want it for a project because my short bed truck, uh, my long bed truck, we're gonna use as a donor on another project. So we get up there, shut the wrecker off, get out, we're looking at this truck and started right up and ran great. And it really doesn't, I mean, it, it kind of rough looking on the outside cause it's been sitting forever, but uh, made the deal and decided to back the wrecker up to it and tow it away. Well, <laughs> then the wrecker wouldn't start and wouldn't start and wouldn't start and wouldn't start. So I looked at Matt and said, we're driving this back. And he's like, what? <laughs> but it, it, I, I, when I made a deal with the guy on the phone, I actually put him off over a week because my wrecker was uh, down because I don't have a gauge cluster back for it yet. So we took the four door truck, which I've never had so much as out of town. Um, and I guess that's why. <laughs> Probably needs a standpipe, some diesel flux capacitor or some. It's a uh, it's a very mysterious. Diesel, yeah, yeah, I'm a, not a diesel guy. That's that's why I had J and K build a motor for my truck because I just don't know anything about them. But anyway, have a look at the tires. You know, I haven't driven on tires like that since I was 16 years old. Yeah, but. It's just a little V6 four speed. Bad. Well, it's, it's semi automatic actually, because it's an automatic and a four speed. That's right. Three on the tree. Show, the show that. <laughs> it's an automatic and a four speed. <laughs> got a... It's got that Chevrolet part number, what is it? Part number 7277, the e brake holder upper. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, but it's but it's a good solid truck and it brought back, back a lot of memories. It did. Then. I mean, I I had a truck like this when I was younger, and you know, it's just it's a cool truck to drive. Remind but me I would, of, uh, the time my uncle got arrested for DUI, me and my brother riding in the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story, you know? But it, it's. We're gonna fix. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I bought for the long bed truck, to, and and it'll work on this truck just fine. So this has already got a lift in it. Um, we're gonna pull that V6 out. We're putting the small block that Matt built. That's going in here, and uh, I haven't decided yet whether I'm even gonna wash it or just run it as a shop truck. But this truck has a name and a brand already. Come check it out. Does it? My dad's brand on his horses are uh, KB. It's KL. It's KL, man. KL. It's KL. But it, it, like I said, when when I made a deal with a guy, I put him off for about a week because we couldn't get a truck or time or money or anything to to get up there. And we put it all together yesterday and went went and picked this up. Never asked him if the truck ran because I wasn't concerned. Uh -huh. So we got there and I'll tell you what, this little thing purrs like a kitten. And we drove back from Dixon. It was an hour and a half. So comfortable. 65 miles an hour all the way, laughing, joking. No brake fluid. Nope. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd check that before we left. There's, there's like <laughs> no brake fluid in it. Uh, we didn't so much as check filters, <laughs> lights anything we got in it and rolled that was it fired it up and go let's get home before it gets dark and it's a good thing we did because because the headlights are like aimed for snipers in the trees um but yeah i mean it's it's a great truck i mean i could drive it just the way it is i would yeah i'm putting them big tires on it though tires on yeah i'll go to the grocery store yep well, there was a really nice couple that we bumped this truck from. They were super. We blocked the whole driveway. They couldn't get out. <laughs> and 
And he was like, oh, it's all right, it's all right. We try to pull it up. We use this truck to pull the tow truck with. And the four-wheel drive actually yeah. works. It was spinning all four of them. Yep. Because <laughs> they're all bald. <laughs> In the gravel. But we pulled the wrecker out of the way so he could get... He upgraded. Believe it or not, he went from this truck to a brand new GMC Denali. <laughs> so, I, you know, he, he runs something till it's done. But this one, <clears throat> I think he gave it to his son, and he ran it a little longer. Yeah, he did. Yep. So she'd been. But, but the guy said the motor's new. If anybody needs this motor, we got it. Yeah, we got a four three. If anybody needs it, there's some fresh paint on them head. Said it was a Jasper motor. It's a Jasper yeah. motor, yeah. And it, I mean, it runs perfect. We did 65 miles an hour all the way back, and I was gonna stop and get gas because we filled it up. Uh, when we left we put gas in it because the gas gauge doesn't work and it, it only took nine dollars worth of gas so it was just about full to begin with and we drove i <laughs> asked the lady can you break 100 oh i don't know if i can break 100 and then i go back in there and it only took nine dollars and 80 cents worth of gas wipe your old cash register yeah. out <laughs> but the gross national product of dixon <laughs> but so I was going to get gas when we got home to check it out and see what it got for fuel mileage, but I'll do that sometime, I guess. I don't know. But it's got windshield washer fluid in it. We didn't even try that. Didn't even try it. Should have. Because I know. Because that windshield's it. This thing's been sitting under a tree forever. Look at all the stuff over here. I don't know. I, I'm like a little kid. You know, I got something and... It's like, okay, get in. <laughs> Let's go. So now I got to find a heavy wrecker to go get my tow truck. But, yeah. That's the downside. But, yeah. I was pretty high. I asked the guy, I said, you think it'll make it to Nashville? He goes, well, I don't see why not. I'm like, yeah, okay. But, I mean... On the interstate at 65 miles an hour, Matt goes, how does it pull it all or anything? And I let go of the steering wheel, and it goes, just drives straight down the road. It did. So it, it was taken care of. Apparently, it's fallen into disrepair here. I mean, but just... I think they... Yeah. <laughs> There's brake fluid in it, so apparently they they know from where it went. Up yeah, mm -hmm. but it's a cool truck. I like it. Um, we'll probably put the Cadillac aside and drive this for a while. Oh, I'm, I'm an old truck guy anyway, so. And we need a we need a shop truck because yesterday I took tires to get mounted. I had to go pick up the tires first, and we drove a customer's truck up there because we don't have no pickup trucks. So, but now we do. It's got the high performance breather on this valve cover over here. Very high tech. Conical in shape. KN ish. Could probably rinse it out. Be good as new. <clears throat> no, it, it, it was fun. It was a little, you know, I, I, I don't really get upset about much anymore. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not worth the stress. You know, I've had my issues with stress. Uh, but it was just. Okay, record doesn't start. What are we doing? Driving this. Okay, let's go. And the cool thing about it, had this have broken down, it would have been a lot easier to get a tow truck for it. <laughs> it would. Yeah. But I think we would have ended up towing a tow truck. My buddy's got a, well, my cousin, Clay, you know Clay. Oh, yeah, I know Clay. Yeah. He's got a truck here to tow that truck, but it's not a heavy. He might be able to do it for you. Really Can they tow that thing from the back? Yeah, that's how they tow it. Pick it up by the bed. Yeah. The frame right there. But he's got the old boom, the uh, bumper sling. Oh, okay, yep, yep, yep. Because that truck doesn't have a wheel lift on it. So they should be able to get it. Yeah, but, but Mike just got those claws that go underneath the front or the rear. Yes. Then he changed it to it. That's it. Well, we'll figure it out. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to call somebody and tell them, go get my truck. <laughs> yeah. 
so. nice people looking out for it. Yeah, no, they're great, great people. I mean, it's their it's a nice driveway spot. goes way back. Cool place you pull in. There's a pond with fish jumping out of it and stuff, and then they got like two or ten barbecue grills. On yeah, the back porch. on the back porch. Yeah. There's a there's a griddle and, and smoker and all kinds yeah. of stuff. And, but they got like four or five places outside their house, all decked out for sitting and partying or relaxing Relax. and what getting eaten alive by helicopter-sized mosquitoes. And, um, but it's just just a cool place. Super nice people. Uh, I'm gonna stay in touch with them on this truck and, and uh, let them know what I'm doing. I sent him a text last night and said we made it. And she's like, oh, he thought it would make it, but he was worried about them tires. I said, the tires are fine. <laughs> if they hold air, they roll. That's it. So. Well, that's it. We'll keep you updated. We'll put some wheels on it and show you a picture of it. Maybe we'll wash it. Put wheels on it. Because we have accessories for this truck. So. And maybe I'll have a... Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Drove it all the way back from Dixon. Unregistered, uninsured. All, you know. Maybe you should have mentioned that. Past, I think before we were even out of Dixon, four cops had it. Tennessee Highway Patrol was right behind me. I was like, oh, dear Lord, we're going to jail. <laughs> but we, we pulled it off. We got here and we're good. So, all right, we're going to do some work and uh, update you on what's going on here at the shop. But that was that was our adventure. Yeah, walk around on yeah give it a walk around. Show everybody. Yeah. Okay. The truck was apparently prepped for paint at one time and then abandoned because this is this is all gray primer and they, they had blocked it out and then just let it sit for a minute. got good door jobs most part yep came with a bunch of stuff it's got drills and light and nerf bars all kinds of goofiness. I like it. The only rust is that spot right there. Just the, the cap, cap corner. corner. That's, That's it, side. yeah. And then a little bit on that rock. Yeah, that rocker right there. And the bumper right shot. I think they did too. They don't. They don't look like the frame. Uh -huh. With the frame, body, mounts, and everything is solid. You gonna turn the fan off? You're gonna do that? How many people do you know that can wash their new truck with a Scotch Brite? Wash the primer roll off. Wash the off. primer right off it. So which body are you using? Whichever part's better than the other one? On his truck? No, on this one. No, this one's fine. There's no rust on this. They body worked this truck already and then primed it and then it sat. I'm kind of half tempted to leave it just as it is. What's up? Like new. That's like factory original. Nice. I do, I do too. Might just logo the. Don't be filming Jim's butt crack. I saw you. <laughs> Came in this morning. Matt was doing Tai Chi to the television. 
Welcome. Watch out. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I come out here the other day, spray your hair and just sit there like it's raining. <laughs> Have to stand around and watch him work because he never does that. Well, you stand around and watch him play work all day. <laughs> or you watch his he don't even watch us work. He goes in and watches his days of our lives, days of our lives, and stuff like that in there. What like days of our lives? So are the days of watching that housewives of whatever. Yeah, housewives of Beverly Hills or something. Oh, we just have the Sears catalog. Right. <laughs> Cut. What's up guys? Quick update on the 37. Uh, so we got all the I got all brand new brake lines ran to the each side of the front. Check it out. Come over here on the other side, check it out too. So I got the tabs mounted onto the frame. Without, without burning the paint. New brake line on this side. And we have an idea of what we're gonna do here. I just ordered both those heim joints. Yeah, so we got a, a heim joint that's gonna accompany this. There won't be any stop in this steering column when we're done. Alright, I'll just get in here and I'll show you what I got. So we got, we got that right there. Anyway, we'll have a heim joint somewhere around right here, yep. holding her, holding her steady, and that should complete it. We'll be ready to put the front end back together. That's right. That's it. Update. Complete. Uh, he's, like that? he's tired from our big adventure last night. <laughs> Have you seen the truck? I washed it and put big wheels on it. Come on. I washed some of it. I washed some of it. Well, we had some big wheels and tires, 35s that I had gotten for my original square body, but because we're using that uh, for parts on another project, I like it. So. Came with brand new chrome Nerf bars, so I'll probably put them on it because I'm old and it's kind of tough to get in and out of the truck. But uh, I think Matt clear and let her the doors call it a day. Yeah, maybe fix that cab corner and the rocker panel, and that's it. There's no other rust on the truck. There's some surface rust. Uh, and you said what kind of truck? It's a 1985 Chevrolet K10 that currently has a V6 in it. I think we talked about this before. I'm going to sell that or use it for an anchor for the boat. Um, but it, no, actually, it's a jas it's a Jasper motor. It's a good motor. Um, and I know there's a lot of Toyota guys out there, maybe that don't watch this channel, but maybe you know some Toyota guys. They make adapters to put that Chevrolet V6 in just about every Toyota. Um, so I'll have that for sale. Somebody hit me up. 
Um, the wheels and tires were coming for the drag truck today. Um, and that's it. I'm just kind of smitten with my new shop truck. I like it. All right, good. Bye. Yep, an interior. The seat ain't ripped up, driver's side. It is, yeah. 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 Um, but I like, my buddy Mark's got a truck that's got the seats kind of dished out a little yeah. bit, and it's got cup holders, because I don't have no cup holder. So I can't, it'd be hard for me to drive it to work, because it's a stick shift, and I can't get my coffee. Yeah. So. You'd make a mess. I'd make a mess. I'd, I'd burn spill your, I would. You'd burn your reach. But. The LMC truck has real nice interior sets for them, so we're going to look into that, but we don't have the money to spend on shop truck right now, so we'll put on it what we got, put the motor in it that we got, and, and uh, I, 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 I think I probably will just clear it and call it a day. Calvo. Calvo, yeah, 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 yeah. Stacks. Uh, no, maybe not. No. Can have the rain. The old uh, uh, what's his name? Chuck Norris, Walker, Texas. Walker, Ranger. Texas. Ranger. You know that thing sounds mean. Oh, that's one of his crazy Audis. You know the uh, old roll bars that they put the chrome roll bars. Yeah. Big, big old KC Daylighters. Nice. I want to go see what that is. I think it's an Audi. Is it? Yeah. Go over and look at that Audi.